This video will be the first in a series focusing on Google Drive. So the first step is, let's say you want to share a bunch of resources with your students in a way that they can't edit them, but they can still see them. They can always make a copy and then alter their copy that they've made, but your original documents will remain pristine. Your first step is going to be creating a new folder. I'm in my Google Drive and I'm going to click New Folder. For this demonstration, I'm going to call it 1415. So I'm just pretending that everything for the year 1415 is going to live inside this one gigantic folder. And click Create. You see on the far left hand side, it showed up right here, 1415. I'm going to right click and choose a new color. We'll make it like this. And we'll make it orange. I'm going to double click. I'm going to open up that folder I just created. Now I want to click New Folder. I'll call it say 1415 View Only and click Create. I could have called this like 1415 First Hour, 1415 Third Hour, whatever you want to call it. You can get pretty specific. So this folder I'm going to share with all the kids in my class. Think elementary for a second, just your classroom. Now let's pretend I'm middle school, high school. What I probably would do is click create new folder, 1415 view only first hour. You could do like a repeat that process for third hour. So 1415 view only third hour. The reason for putting view only is just for you to remember that whatever I put in here the kids are automatically going to see. They can't edit anything but they can just see the materials I've added to this folder. Now I need to get my kids in here. Probably the easiest way to do it is I've got the folder here highlighted. Upper right hand corner click the little head with a plus symbol i got to be careful here because right now if I started adding students, like here this person Samantha, if I clicked send, she would automatically now get editing access. So she could alter and change any of the documents within that folder. We want to change from can edit to can view. Now what I've done here is just demonstrated that I could add an entire email distribution list at one time. If I clicked this, our year two cohort one members, nine of them, would automatically be added to this folder. So if you do have a contact list for your first hour, third hour classes, this will be much easier. You can always add them manually like I'm doing here. So I've added the, the students who are in this particular, say, class or hour. I can click send and it will automatically give them a little alert that says, hey, this folder has been shared with you. It would be really helpful to add a note here. Once I've added my note, I click send and they'll automatically be alerted that a new folder has been added to their drive. This video demonstrated how to create a folder and share it with your students. This is a view only, so the only thing the students can do is just see the stuff inside of it. There will be another video to help you understand how the students can use this view only folder to enhance their classroom experience.